Well, he's got almost as many kids as he does Ezekiel Chokes. Here is the heavyweight hopeful Alexi Olenek. This guy's more than 40 fights over 500 in a pro career that dates all the way back to 1996. It's unbelievable when you watch Alexi Olenek compete. He goes in there and he seems as disinterested as anyone that I've right. ever seen step into an octagon. But the moment he gets his hands on you, no one's nickname is more fitting. Yeah. The boa constrictor. You feel like you're wrapped within his limbs and you cannot find an escape. Some of the submissions he has are truly unbelievable. When he hit that Ezekiel choke from the bottom, neither one of us, John, understood right. why his opponent was tapping. Yeah, and that was Victor Pesta, and then he got Junior Albini with that famed Ezekiel choke as well. Most people seem to know what's coming. They're dismissive of it. Alexi Olenek is a submission magician. He'll try to get another win here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 60 wins, 17 losses, and one draw. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei, the boa constrictor, Alinev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging. You no, know, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, Linick gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Strike landed there by Alexi Olenek. Oh, man. 
this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't feel like it. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Effective punch there by Lee. Olenek gets stung by that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Olenek gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. With that punch, no good. I mean, that right hand landed square. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Spinning back fist is there. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, Lennox lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. Trying to double up on that jab. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Can't take many of those. You better check. Real quick leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Still nice body kick lane. Oh, good kicks. Back and forth we go. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landing those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Ready? in the previous round, we'll see if Ready? he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Olin. Big leg kick land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, big punch land. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, 
Oh man, head kick land. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Alexi Olenek. Big kick land. My goodness. Checks that leg kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Caught that kick there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. That got Olenek's attention. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. That kick blocked by Olin. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Sneaky head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Olenek's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Olenek. Big body kick. You gotta dig deep here. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful body kick. Kick to the body by Owen. A lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with 
it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over the field. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. Nice head kick. Punches blocked. Nice one, two there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Well, then again, gets caught with that punch. Nice head kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just misses there with the left. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Olenek. Big kick lands. Continues with the leg kick. Nice head kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Watch that strike. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Alexi Olenek. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Olenek. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Great punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big kick land. Beautiful. Head kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Another nice leg kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Olena gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Real sneak by the kick. to go. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. 
Mike, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Slips. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Mixed it all up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he caught the kick. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, what a head kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right under the elbow, the body kick landing. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Two minutes now to go. Hands high, hands high. Oh, and he caught the kick. Straight punch lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Right hand upstairs. Olenek gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, huge block! There's no tell on that leg kick. Head kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Well, it's 
one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. Nice body kick right on the yoke. Ooh, what a punch. He's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Watch the punch. Oh, nice. Visibly limping here. Everything's landing perfect. Keep Lee going for the head kick. No dice. What a body kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Powerful leg kick land. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Olenek. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice body kick. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice sneaky head kick. Under three minutes now to go in this one. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Lee. Liver kick. How good is that right hand? Trying to hammer that lead leg. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And it gets caught with that punch. Big leg kick land. Ooh, blocks the shot. Beautiful body. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Nice loop and punch. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. Throws the right hand there. Upstairs for an elbow. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Come 
Under a minute now to go in the fight. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. Just missed on the overhand leg. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And they separate. Big kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Head kick, that's a miss. 20 seconds left. Olenek gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? 